Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to the Mirror Mysteries 2. Let us continue. So, we got stuck on this puzzle, which is just this crazy brute force puzzle. And I was able to find the three places where these red dots, this was red before, this was red before, are supposed to be to finish this constellation. But there's like no, no hint here. It's seems to be 100% brute force. A good video game programmer and just level design developer would have given us some hints. We would have seen this constellation somewhere here. Something would have made any sense whatsoever. There would have been a logical reason. Something we could look at. Something we could work towards. But nope. That's not the case as far as I can tell. So I found it just by going all over the place. And the third one is right here. That makes a fish outline. Oh, you gotta be joking. You gotta be joking with me. <sighs> one puzzle was a fish. And now we've got another puzzle. Oh my goodness. Let's look around here. Is there... Have we seen a fish symbol anywhere? Why are we doing a nautical shape? Oh, this is ridiculous. Move the red things into the right places to form a new constellation. This is ridiculous. What does the hint say? Let's just start with the hint. Stars look like they form a shape. Same hint as before. There's no fish. There's nothing. I guess our first move that we have to do here is just... There's one. I guess none of them are inside the ring, unless there is a specific spot for each one of these. So we saw that they were on the wall and they were somewhere within this section. So let's try to maintain that. I don't think it's going to go any crazier than that. But this is how I solved it before. I just went to the edge, went down just a little bit, went to an edge, went down just a little bit, went to an edge, and then I was going all the way the extent. It's kind of herky-jerky movements too. Maybe it's because of the low resolution or maybe it's because of my mouse, but I have a laser pointer mouse, I don't see why it would be jumping unless my uh, unless my batteries were going low, which I suppose could be the case. And what's the odds that it's going to be somewhere over here? I don't think it's very high. Are we seeing any point? Where it starts to change color. No, because you have to be incredibly, incredibly close to the point before it starts to change. And this is just game balancing, and we need more indication than what we're getting, too. Yes, it just doesn't... This is not fun. There's, there's no way to spin it. There really is no way to spin this. This is just not fun. Hmm. It's not something you want to do. Maybe it would have been fun 
for two of these with random guessing but we've done we're up to number six and if it's gonna follow the Mario pattern of three attacks to, to defeat the boss that means when we're done with this there's a chance it's gonna give us three more constellations to work on so a fish a squirrel <sighs> this looks like a star could be formed is it gonna be even worse that would be my next question this is going to turn into an even worse puzzle by having a whole second set feels like a star. What else could this be if it's not a star? Like just slowly go over every single thing. There's no strategy here. This isn't strategy. This is just a procedure to attempt every single solution. This is, requires no knowledge, no intellect. All it requires is more endurance than any video game player should actually have. Come on, stick. I'm having trouble picking up the red dots, too. Everything here seems really balanced. So you would think it this one would be right here in the middle and it is. Like an angel. Nope, Christmas tree. Wow. What did that get me? It solved the bridge. What a ridiculous ridiculous break in the flow of gameplay just like the first game of mirror mysteries just a huge difficulty spike yes I could have clips click skip but then you're not playing the game you paid for at that point and that's not acceptable either is there a mirror piece over here I don't think there is so let's move forward with my mouse. So we're at the next door, I guess, and now we're gonna have to probably play some music. Oh, I'm gonna really probably hate a music puzzle. The flowers here are the source of our magic. If they don't bloom soon, I'm afraid it'll be the end of our kind. Ah, so the door just opened. That's nice. Let's just quickly go around here and see if there's a mirror shard. There's seven mirror shards around. Is this a different hummingbird? Or the same one? Because he kind of sounded different as a mirror shard. The fact that the hand just changes, the pointer turns to the hand. I suppose I could turn that off. Like, if I turned off the custom cursor, and then I went over here, nope, you still get the pop-up. So, even if you didn't use the custom cursor, it it's still going to give you a very easy to identify indicator that you are to pick up a shard you're hovering over a mirror shard let's get into a real puzzle here We've got some birds of different colors let's 
go with the green. Just a sweet regular hidden object game. How I've missed him somehow. Somehow I have missed him. Because we've had so much other stuff we've had to do. This hole needs to be patched. Trombone lid. There's a collectible. There's a collect. I was clicking on this and got that. Just kind of clicking everywhere. Until we have almost all the pieces. Almost got him, almost got him. We need this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. That's all that's left, I think. That's not a piece right there? Okay. Spider. Nothing in the spider. Hmm. hmm. Where would this brownish piece be? Hiding back there, yes it is. So that's a corkscrew, and there's a cork right here, which will give us this piece. Good to find. There's another piece. So are we down to just this and this now. That's done. We can patch this. What is this? An airbag of some sort. So now we're just done down to this section. Hmm. And I bet it's hiding behind something. There it is. So we plug that into this. Plates it. And then that gives us this, which I imagine we can connect to something. Interesting. There's all these horns here. There it is. And we get a red arrow. So if we click up here, is this some weight system? Looks like there's a bird missing from its cage. Well, let's put the red bird here and see what happens. Place the boards in order from heaviest at the left to lightest at the right. Uh, Okay. So, put this one here and this one here. That was pretty simple. 
I mean, we really went from like a really, really simple puzzle to, well, a really, really hard puzzle to a pretty simple one. Here's a mirror shard. Let's just quickly look over here and just make sure there isn't another one. Looks like there is something here that would have also potentially uh, well no this is still a puzzle but spin the rings in the flute to holes to line up from largest to smallest okay So what that means is this has to be one of these solutions. This is actually going to be probably incredibly easy to do. We have to find a really, really small one. There's a small one. There's a match. There's a match. Or is that a match? Or is that a match? Have the magical frame. We need the. These guys are just all singing music. I thought there was something I could click on or something to look over here. Maybe I skipped a whole section there. If I did, I'm sorry, but didn't get enough indication. Let's just quickly look around, make sure there aren't any other mirror pieces. Yes, there is one. So, the first time we made a mirror using the ice, and then we had 12 pieces that came back. I cannot thank you enough. You have restored my world. It is how it once was before the darkness came to us. I cannot defeat this evil, but I will help you on your way. Listen carefully. The coordinates must be set to make your exit from this world to the next. Here, take this. Good luck, dear friend. So we got something in our journal. The hummingbird gave me coordinates that I can use. I'll keep it in my journal so I can reference it later. Two, two, four, three, six. Do not feed the birds. They're on a diet. We've either missed some mirror shards or there's more to this world than what it seems like. Hmm. This gyroscope seems to be all out of whack. Let's see, here's a mirror shard. That's two remaining, so it could be very easily that I missed a couple. That's one remaining. So it could be I did haven't missed any, or I have missed some. They're moving fast, they need to stabilize. Set the dials to provide to stabilize the gyro. Let's see. What was it? Two. Two, four. So is it from the outer ring to the inner ring? 
Again, this feels like a brute force than an actual solution. Five, six, seven. Like, let's go ahead. The bird said it was two, four, two, four, one, three, six. Alright. Two. This doesn't seem like th there's enough rings here. It's one, two, three, four. Two, two, one, four, three, six. Alright, so six has to be one of the solutions. Either on one ring or the other. So let's get this to six. doesn't make any sense at all. Bird said it was two, two, one, four, three, six. And then there's one, two, three, four. So it's giving me six numbers and Because it's the inside of the ring, I need to give some consideration there. It's like one, four. Okay, that did half of it. So. Now three and six can be here, I guess. Three, I think. Five, six. Got it. And we get a white king. Which is weird because we've had this stone monkey head. And now we have a white king. And it's a reflective surface. So, I think I could just put the magical frame here. But before we do that, uh, we have to find the mirror piece. Which even the game is telling me, look around because you missed one. Which, of course, this could be rather frustrating for a game, anybody playing this game, if they just ended up having to search all over again, every single area, looking for that one reclusive mirror piece, or if, what if you hadn't found any of them, you didn't even know you were looking for them, there'd be 12 sitting around, unlikely that it would, that that would ever happen, pretty unlikely, but it's definitely a possibility. Hmm. 
I think the, we've seen a couple of puzzles in this game already that would have you skip them, if not just rage quit. And that's not what you want for a hidden object puzzle game, is you don't want to induce rage. You want it to be fun. You want to be in on the game. It needs to be a fun little game. Now, speaking of being fun, at least so far we haven't gotten that horrible storyline feeling that the first game has. It is the same storyline, but they've toned it down quite a lot. A few sentences, a few interactions is all it really takes to send the story in the complete and wrong direction. And that's what happened in Mirror Mysteries 1, in my opinion. Come on, where are you, mirror shard number 12? It's gonna be way far back here. I'm surprised we didn't ever do anything with this. I kind of felt like there would be something there. And there may very well have been something there, but it just was something quickly mentioned and then ignored in the series, in the story. There it is, right at the beginning. The very first screen. That's no good. That was a, just a mistake on my part. Definitely just a mistake on my part. So... We know there's five mirrors, and unless we go into the final mirror, and that makes number six, it feels like there's going to be fewer areas than the first game, but by far more scenes, and the areas are bigger and more interactive. You're walking around instead of just being teleported to specific scenes. It feels like they put a lot more effort and work into connecting the worlds and making it feel like a connected place. So we place that there and then down we go. Ooh, it's a different color teleporter. Wherever there is a mirror, my eye will be cast on you. I see you. I know where you are. And soon I will come for you. Still very creepy and evil for no reason. It's not like we even did anything to the mirror. So one, two, number three here. There may be a four here and there may be a five here. But as far as out here, I think this was just all kind of the tutorial area. I, it doesn't strike me as if there's anything more to it. You'd think maybe you'd get up in these other rooms, but it doesn't seem to be the case. And what's the deal with the White King and the Stone Monkey Head? We have no clue on that. Hmm. There's nothing to click on, otherwise just this mirror. So quickly we come out of this air out of one world and we go to another. So these 12 pieces are going to be smaller, slightly more difficult puzzle. Let's see, that should fit there. This should fit right there. This. I don't have any cheat sheets or anything, by the way, so. It's not like I know how to do this or have played the game before. I'm just good at puzzles. Maybe I think I'm too good at puzzles, probably. Um, it's not like I'm championship level puzzle person or anything. But if I had, I think if I had really committed myself to something like that, I could have potentially competed. I could have been a contender to quote Rocky, but 
I saw it. No, you didn't. Now what the danger here will be is I'll put a piece down, but it won't be snapped into place. And then I would have to click all over the thing trying to find the one piece that's not snapped into place. So remember we saw him before in the other one too. And in this mirror we saw him, we may have even seen him in this one, but we, there was no evidence that he was actually in those worlds. So really we've seen no evidence that he's in any of these worlds. This may just be one big trap to trick us into fixing the mirrors for him. But if we fix all the mirrors, wouldn't we be done at this point? I don't know. Fred this time. kind of strange to have a cutscene where you look left and right and then you go into a game where you can't look left or right. It's a little, a little odd. I finally reached solid ground and there can't be anything a low Tommy could be here, could be there. It appears to be a mountainous world. So welcome to the China Monastery. Let's go here and look at the things like Elemental Forest, Welcome to Sky World. Hmm. Somebody put some work into these journal entries and I haven't looked at most of them. That's kind of a shame. Oh well, let's get going. First hidden object puzzle. Well, actually, let's not get going, because we are done for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rhino. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.